Today I'll be telling the story of the young, the spider, and the honey tree. Once upon a time in a far village, there lived a young girl who was the best, who was known for picking the best fruits in the village. Her oranges were just a little bit sweeter, her apples were just a little bit bigger, and her bananas were just a little bit tastier. Nobody ever dared to ask the young girl where she picked her fruits. That is, until they heard the story of the young girl and the spider. One day, the spider was too lazy to go pick his own fruits, so he decided to ask the girl to show him the secrets of the bushes. He went and asked the girl, You pick the best fruits, cooed the spider. Will you please take me with you to the bushes, said the spider. No one's ever asked me that before, said the young girl. But I suppose I could help you. What do you like to eat? Mm, bananas, apples, and honey. But I especially love honey. The spider thought he could trick the young girl into showing him all the secrets of the bushes. This way, he would be able to go to the bushes and get all the best fruit. The next morning, the young girl took the spider deep into the bushes where the best fruits were located. First, they went to the bushes where the apples were. These apples were, were very few. That's what, that is why no one would bother to pick them. But what people didn't know that they were the sweetest of them all. So, the spider, when, when the spider saw the apples in the tree, he ran in, he climbed quickly up on the bush, grabbed and ate all of the apples and didn't leave anything for the young girl. And most of all, he didn't even thank her. Then later, he went to the bushes where the bananas were with the young girl. They went into the banana bush. Once again, the spider pushed the young girl aside, climbed up the banana bush, ate all of the bananas and didn't leave anything for the young girl. And again, he didn't thank her. Are you full, said the young girl, or would you like me to take you to the honey tree? Being not only selfish, but greedy, the spider wanted to, take, to be taken to the honey tree. Th then the young girl took the spider to the honey tree. As they went, the spider saw the honey tree. It was very small, and it had a tiny hole where there was honey. The spider climbed in, but being so full, he got stuck. Help! Help! pleaded the spider. You wouldn't be stuck there if you weren't so greedy, scolded the young girl. Please, please, pleaded the spider. I'm so sorry. You're not sorry, said the young girl. You're only sorry because you, you're caught. Knowing the spider is greedy and she must, she had to teach him a lesson. The young girl decided to leave him there. Please, pleaded the spider, call for help from the villagers. The young girl called for help in the lowest voice possible. Help, help. But of course, because they were so deep into the bushes, nobody could hear them. Then this, the young girl decided to leave the spider. Now, excuse me, I'm going to go pick the best oranges for my family. And the young girl skipped ahead to the orange bushes leaving the spider there all alone.